So coming to the mode, mode of the data. What is mode? This is one central value. We can say the mode is the value which most occurs. Mode is the value which most occurs in the data. Occurs in the data. That means the maximum number of times the value which is repeated that we will treat it as mode. Or simply we can say the highest frequency the value which has highest frequency that we can call it as mode. How to calculate mode? In probability distribution also we did this mode. In probability we say the mode is value of x for which the density function f of x has maximum value. If it is probability function p of x has maximum value. The value of x for which f of x has maximum that is mode. In raw data, when series of values are given, for series of values, mode is the same, the value which most occurs repeatedly, most number of times repeated value, most number of times repeated value. If one value is repeated three times, Another value is repeated 4, another value is repeated 5 times, 5 times repeated value will be more. For series of values, for discrete data, for discrete data means x and f are given. Whenever x, f are given, x values and frequency are given, then mode is the value of x corresponding to the highest frequency the value of x corresponding to highest frequency highest frequency corresponding x value is called mode coming to group data when Class intervals with frequency are given. CI and frequency. Class intervals and frequency are given. Here, just raw data, x values are given. When class intervals and frequency are given, like 0 to 10, 10 to 20, and frequencies are given, then to find mode, we use this. L plus F0 minus F1 by 2f0 minus f1 minus f2 into c. Here L is lower limit, lower limit of modal class. Here modal class means nothing. The class which has highest frequency. The highest frequency class, corresponding class, we can treat it as modal class. The modal class lower limit is L and F0 is frequency of modal class. F1 is preceding frequency of modal class. And F2 is Frequency after model class. Frequency after model class. This same means before. Frequency before value, after value. We will take as f1, f2. Class interval. So, mode is very easy compared to remaining mean and median. Here, mode we can get very easily. With the given data only, we can prepare the table. With the given data only. No need to find extra columns, anything like uh, cumulative frequency, mid values, no need anything. Directly we can calculate L, F0, F1, F2, F3. Here, model class plays clean role. Model class means highest frequency class. The class with highest frequency. That frequency only we are taking as F0. Before frequency is F1. After that, uh, model class frequency F2, class interval, lower limit. 
If you can evaluate these, you can find more in group put data than class intervals and frequency are given. Okay. So calculate mode for the following data. Two bits are there. One is series of data, another one is discrete series. We call this one as discrete, this is series. So given data is like this. 3, 15, 20, 22, 28, 20, 32, 20, 32, 20, 22. Now count the value which is more number of times repeated. The value which is repeated more number of times, that will be the mode. So mode is the value which occurs more frequently. The value which occurs more frequently. So if you see the data, you can easily identify 20 first time, second time, third time, fourth time. 4 times 20 you got, except 20, 22 may be repeated, 22 1, 2 times, 32 also 2 times. The highest number of times which value is repeated, 20, how many times you are having? 4 times. So the 20 will be the mode. Like that easily one can evaluate mode for the given data when series is given like this. Series of data given. Coming to the next problem, the given is X and F. X and F values are given. X values are 10, 15, 22, 28, 32, 41, 55. Now, F are given like this, 8, 20, 32, 50, 30, 26, 10. Now, find out the mode is value of x corresponding to corresponding to highest frequency highest frequency corresponding x value will be the mode highest frequency what is highest frequency here the highest frequency is 50 this is highest Corresponding x value will be mode. What is corresponding x value? 28. So like this, one can easily evaluate mode when discrete data given or series given. If series given, more number of times repeated value will be mode. When x and f are given, see the frequency. In frequency, find out highest frequency value. Corresponding x value will be mode. Here, the highest frequency is 50. 50 corresponding x value is 28. That will be the mode. Okay? Any doubts you may express. Find mode for the following data. The group food data is given. Class intervals and frequency. This is called group food data. When class intervals and frequency are given, simply take the data like this. Class, class intervals, I am writing like this 0, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80. Frequencies are like this 4, 6, 20, 32, 33. 17, 8, 2. So simply note down the data given like this. Nothing else. No need to find anything extra column. With the given data only, we can easily identify the mode. Now, after preparing the table, find out the modal class. I said the modal class is the class with highest frequency. Find out the highest frequency in this column. The highest frequency is 33. So this class is called model class. This is model class. The model class frequency is F0. Model class 
previous frequency is f1 this one will be f2 the lower limit of the model class frequency will be L. What I am saying? For this group of data formula to calculate mode is L plus F0 minus F1 by 2 F0 minus F1 minus F2 into C. So that is formula. Here L is lower limit of model class. Lower limit of model class. That value is 40. This is model class. Its lower limit means lower limit of that class and upper limit of previous class average. 40 plus 40 by 2. You will get 40. F0 is frequency of model class. Frequency of model class. Model class frequency. This is model class frequency. That is highest value. 33. F1 is preceding frequency of model class. Preceding frequency of model class before this. That is 32. F2. After model class frequency. Next frequency to the model class next frequency to the model next frequency immediately next immediately next that is 17 so c is class interval class length class length is very clear 10 0 to 10 10 to 20 the length of the class 20 minus 10 or 10 minus 0 anything now this is the formula. In this, we are going to substitute all the values. So now, mode equal to L 40 plus F0 33 F1 32 by 2 into F0 2 into 33 minus 32 minus 17 into 10. Calculate that value using your calci. You will get the value approximately 40.04 or 03. 0.465 is a mode. Mode of the group put data. So like this one can easily calculate mode for the given group put data when class intervals or frequency are given. Okay, very easy.